So check this out. Community goal reward for this week is only being offered by one faction, Neo Marlinist Order of Madrid, the quote unquote bad guys. Which means that the role players and commanders who like to, you know, play as the good guy in general are probably going to favor the M Epsilon Fernacus Empire group. And if these uh, these figures are looking pretty good for them, estimated completion 100% in five days, where the Neo Marlinist Order is maybe going to get 77% completion in six days. Uh, oh, now this is interesting. Top 25% contribution rate at time of recording is 10 million. So that's you know, about an hour's worth of uh, optimized gameplay. So in a ship that's specifically built for this. Although we've got a lot more contributors uh, currently fighting for Epsilon for Nakis. So the module, uh, well, they don't have a module reward. But that same category only requires 7.75 million. Uh, I would expect these figures to... Uh, continue to climb. Earlier today this figure was up in the 25s, so I think we're probably going to settle somewhere between 10 and 20 mil as the curves climb in order to get this module reward, which isn't too bad. Fight for Neo-Marlinists for one or two hours and you'll probably be settled in close enough that you won't need to contribute much more gameplay to be assured this reward uh, for all the good it will do you. Because the Caustic Missile Rack is a weapon that is shrouded in obscurity for good reason. It is a garbage weapon. There is no other way to describe it. So, unless the Enzyme Missile Damage they're referring here, the uh, let's see, increased Caustic Damage and Capacity is significant. I don't think that you're going to see this weapon get adopted. It's definitely not going to break out into the mainline meta. Because, uh, well, let me show you. This is the Enzyme Missile Rack as stock from the Tech Broker. You'll note here that its DPS is 2.5. This is the tick damage. Sustained DPS is 2.1. So if you average out that damage over a minute, it actually comes out to be a little bit lower. Uh, that means over the course of a minute, the Enzyme Missile Rack can deal roughly 120 damage. Maybe a little more, somewhere around 150. That's absolute damage, but one of the Enzyme Missile Rack's major disadvantages is that it doesn't do any caustic damage while the target shields are up. It will do 5 damage per shot, but it's explosive damage, which means that if you're attacking a shield with just stock configuration, that half of that's going to get knocked off the top. So you deal 2.5 damage to shields on a direct hit, making this thing completely useless against shielded targets. And since shields are the primary meta for basically all ship combat, PvE or PvP, the only real exception is anti-Xeno initiative. Um, you're not going to be using this in most situations. A troll might stick these on their ship to apply caustic damage to an unshielded AX ship to do pro-Thargoid roleplay, which is about the only time I see this weapon used. Um, actually, no, I've never seen this weapon used. You could theoretically use it against an, AI, uh, against an AXI ship. I've used this weapon in some meme PvP engagements to demonstrate it, but I have never seen this thing actually show up in any encounter organically in the game. Nobody cares about it. Even if the DPS is doubled, which I kind of doubt they're going to do. I mean, uh, let's assume they apply overcharged to it, which is not an experimental that missile racks can normally acquire. That's... I'm just rattling off the top of my head. That's like 50% increase. Um, if you apply the short range blueprint, I think you can get 60% damage increase. That takes you from 2.5 to 4-ish, which means that over the course of a full minute, assuming that you drop a target shields and assuming that you get a direct hit and assuming that the target doesn't deliberately overheat themselves to cook that damage off, you might be able to deal 300 DPS somewhere in that ballpark over the course of a whole minute which would make it effective against small NPC ships assuming that you can get a hit because it's still a dumb fire rack and you still have to get right up in people's faces because the shot speed at 750 meters per second is awful not an effective weapon for extended range combat especially if what you're fighting has a PDC you're just not going to find very many situations where this thing is all that useful and you have to sacrifice an entire size 2 hardpoint 
that can do nothing while target shields are up for the entire duration of the fight. So I don't see people engaging with this reward at all. At least not guys like me who've been in the game long enough to know what the hell this thing is. Because I, I mean, optimistically, let's say they doubled it. A 100% damage increase, which they've never done as a module reward, and gave this thing 5 DPS. And let's assume that the sustained DPS also remains at 5. We go in and I'll just I'll pull my calculator out just because I can. I'm not that good at math. I can't just do this in my head. Okay. 5 times 60, 300. So my earlier thing saying somewhere in the 300 ballpark, it's probably going to be less than this. But this is like, in my mind, this is the best case scenario for what the caustic damage could do over the course of a full minute. Now, absolute damage against certain PvP ships, that can hurt. But as soon as they see the caustic damage profile, even people who've never fought Thargoids know that you can cook caustic damage off by overheating. And there are a lot of PvP ships that just overheat over the course of the fight and ignore it because it's not that big of a deal. So, best case scenario. You find some niche applications for it in a PvE encounter. This thing will remain totally irrelevant in PvP. No one's going to care about it. Not for that amount of damage. Even absolute. So, as things go in the community goal, I would say if you're busy or you would rather play Halo Infinite, that you could definitely skip this one and not miss out. There's, you know, an outside chance that FDev gives this thing... A hefty damage increase but i even if they do i mean it would have to be huge to be worth it uh and capacity capacity has never been the caustic missile racks problem i i've actually i don't think i've ever run out of caustic missiles when i've even tested these things so i i really yeah i think that's it i don't think there's anything else to be said here um if you really really want it go for it I don't have it, and I'm probably not going to go for it. I'm not sure if it's worth the time investment, unless this number gets down, like... If this number gets down around 7, I might just go in and play for an hour so that I can add it to my collection for the sake of being a completionist, but... Otherwise, nah. It's just a meh reward for a community goal that... really only has value to people who are into the story, so... Uh, that's all I got for today. I will catch you guys later.